Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mark Malik here with the Hurricane Season 2020 update part of the Hurricane Outlook and Discussion for September 5th, 2020, recorded around 2.37 p.m. Eastern Time. Taking a look out here across the tropical Atlantic, we have a couple of things to discuss today, mainly focusing here on Invest Area 92L and soon to be Area 93L. But we also have some curious tropical waves out here across the uh, Caribbean here where the Hurricane Center has highlighted an area of disturbed weather right now near the Caribbean with a 10% chance over the next couple of days. This generally is going to be moving in the general direction here of the uh, Western Caribbean over the next several days. Obviously, Jamaica, this uh, could impact you with some heavier rainfall, maybe some flash flooding in some areas, general kind of impacts, nothing very significant from this at all. But this will be moving off towards the west here over the next couple of days and then generally moving itself into an unfavorable environment once it reaches this area. And part of that reason is because of this upper level trough right now that you can kind of see parked right now near the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos region. And that is going to be moving across off towards the, uh, really off towards the left here over the next couple of days, off towards the west. And this could impact parts of South Florida over the next couple of days as this kind of finds itself and parks itself over near Florida. And again, this could mainly bring some heavier rainfalls, some stronger showers and thunderstorms. Just an overall kind of a dreary, damp uh, weekend and Labor Day weekend, obviously, for some across this area, especially here in South Florida. So this is something that we're going to have to watch. Not really expecting any significant development from that at all. Now across the rest of the Atlantic Tropical Basin here, then we can see that we do have Invest Area 92L, which is right here, and the leftovers of once what was uh, Invest Area 91L. 91L has basically now lost any organization and moved a lot of its energy into Invest Area 92L. And we can also see soon to be 93L right now coming off of Africa, so it's going to be a very busy pattern. Certainly, the National Hurricane Center thinks that this is going to be a pretty bit busy pattern as well right now with a 10% chance here with our Caribbean wave, a 90% chance with 92L, and an 80% chance here with soon to be 93L. Again, these two systems we're going to have to watch pretty carefully over the next several days as the general motion be off towards the west here. And again, we're going to have to watch this pattern very closely. And of course, there's pesky old Omar out there still not dissipating for some odd reason. It is still not wanting to dissipate. So what's going to happen with Invest Area 92L? Well, generally, in, in a general sense here, the most of the models today, as of the 12Z time frame, have this mainly moving off towards the west and maybe making even a little bit of a west-southwest dip here before resuming a west or northwest motion. You can see there is some models that do want to progress this further off towards the northwest and eventually north sooner, but some of these are not really very reliable. Right now we have the TVCA, which is the multi-model consensus model in there, uh, but right now, you can see even following along the lines of the AVIN, which is the GFS forecast, most of this is further off towards the west here. And again, that's in thanks because of a large ridge of high pressure that's right now steering these storms further off towards the west and not allowing them to tur turn out, but that could quickly change. Now, the intensity guidance, again, is forecasting mostly that this is going to become a tropical storm here over the next couple of days. The general forecast trend today has been generally off towards the, uh, basically generally in towards more of the tropical storm status here that it will likely, likely retain over the next several days as it moves across the tropical Atlantic. Again, all of the models except the LGEM right now uh, that is running on 92 suggest that, this will uh, suggest that this will become a modest tropical storm. The Shift 4 model does think this will become a hurricane. This is solely based really on climatology and persistence and doesn't really factor in any dynamical models. But again, it is just something that we're going to have to take note of over the next several days as things could change uh, pretty rapidly as time kind of goes on. So this is something that we're going to have to watch here very carefully. 
Now, again, this is the 850 millibar vorticity project. This is the spin in the atmosphere at about 5,000 feet off the ground. And these reds and whites set your higher cyclonic spin at the 5,000 foot level in the atmosphere. You can see here with Invest Area 92L that we do have a pretty well organized system right now. Again, no real concentrated area, but this is trying to bundle some of that energy in the atmosphere at about 5,000 feet. And again, this will be something that we're going to have to watch. This is the remnant circulation here of 91L. Again, that circulation has now kind of been stretched out and is now kind of um, imparting with the 92L right now. So this is kind of going to be tangling around with 92L before this kind of separates and goes on about its merry way. This is that little area, curious area towards the west of the Lesser Antilles right now uh, to the south and east of uh, Cuba. So this is something we're going to have to watch pretty carefully, but again, not really expecting any significant development, at least at this time, for anything at the current moment right now. Now, this is the GFS forecast. This is the 850 vorticity again, the spin in the atmosphere about 5,000 feet off the ground. And the darker reds in here, that's your higher cyclonic spin at the 5,000 foot level. And again, we'll kind of move this forward. You can see here throughout the next about 120 hours, this is roughly the next uh, five days or so, we can see that the models try to develop some area of vorticity here, kind of a Congo line of tropical cyclones. Now, the big thing here is going to be the steering pattern. Uh, roughly, this is uh, 12Z Thursday. So this is Thursday. This is five days from now. And you can see this area of high pressure off towards the north but it is being degraded by this trough that's kind of digging in through here and you can see this is the um basically your geopotential height at about five, uh, 500 millibars or 18,400 feet in the atmosphere and what you're really looking for is these darker reds this this is your ridge this is a higher than normal ridge strength across the tropical atlantic and we could see that at least through the five-day realm, this is going to help to mainly push our storms off generally towards the west. But you do see where there is an area of potential out-to-sea pattern with these. These can basically turn right on the way around and out to sea. But you can see here in the GFS forecast, that doesn't necessarily happen. And we actually do get a ridge that starts to build over top right here and forces what northward progression and now it starts to force it more west. We saw this with Hurricane Florence back in 2018 where it started to kind of come out like that and then it basically kind of went like that. It was going out to see that ridge built in and the rest is history. So again, this is just something we'll have to kind of keep an eye on because there is the possibility and potential that this could try to gain a little bit of latitude and then get shut back further off towards the west with this building ridge of high pressure expected over the Atlantic. And you can also see here another big trough that dips in through here. We'll go out to hour 240. This trough event eventually kind of gets cut off and it moves off into the open Atlantic. We get this cutoff flow here, but we also get the building ridge over the North Atlantic here that's shoving our storm due west. So it is something to be mindful of. And the Euro here, for what it's worth, does a much of the same, except it, you know, it gets it pretty close. And then it keeps these systems very weak, disorganized, and then it carries it on right about and out to sea. And you can see here, and even in the forecast guidance, uh, that we do start to get that ridge that will start to build back in here at hour 192 but there's a pretty big trough here there's a cutoff flow here and that should force our storms right on out and out to sea but again this pattern is not all set in stone and there's going to be a lot of things that are going to do basically decipher what actually happens over the next several days again Right now, this is where the GFS and Euro defer because the GFS has 92L kind of continuing off towards the West here or 93L or whatever. And the Euro develops both of these and turns it on out into the open Atlantic. So this is something we're going to have to watch pretty carefully over the next couple of days. Again, um, you know, right now there's not a significant concern, but there is something that we're going to have to watch. And again, uh, right now, it is too early to determine what, if any, land impacts this is going to have 
for the United States or the Lesser Antilles at this time. But of course, as a course of least regret, it is just better to, and it's safe than sorry to be monitoring the progress of these two tropical systems right now. Okay, I know this was a little bit of a shorter video discussion, but I kind of wanted to get everything out there, kind of let you know what's going on. I'll have a full complete video update later this evening. All right, with that being said, have a great rest of your afternoon and early evening. Of course, I am Michael Romali. I'll talk to you guys again more later this evening.